Hey yo, this is Dash, and uh, oh my goodness, it's like 90 plus degrees. Today is uh, Wednesday, uh, August 16th, 2017, and aside from the mosquitoes out here with me in the garage, I have Priscilla. Um, so a few of you guys uh, thought that, and actually, check it out. A few of you guys said that the reason why the, the door on the smoker um, wouldn't close or wasn't closing properly is because the floor was bowed. And oddly enough, just looking at it just now, I see there is a slight bow. Um, hopefully, I have that level as possible. And the reason is not for it bowing this way, but you see it bowed that way. So that's a you know why but it just seems like now it could also be because of the fact that I have the door hanging the way that I have it right now but it's just a slight bow uh, down in that direction but uh, I wanted to uh, to come out here and look at it I wanted to come out here and look at it uh, to determine what the actual problem was and to figure out a fix um, honestly enough I think um, the notch that I cut out in the door um, will suffice, and, and it'll take care of uh, take care of the problem. If uh, if push comes to shove, I could probably put a jack underneath of the um, underneath of this corner of the um, the firebox, and then weld a, a piece of angle uh, angle iron onto it to uh, help shore things up. And if it comes down to it, if I determine that it's a problem, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. But I wanted to try and give you guys a better look at what was left over since I'm sitting here. So here's some more of that. It's like a like a dirt mixed with some ash, uh, leftover organic something or other that's in here. These rails that are in here, uh, the other day when I was talking about um, leaving them in here, cutting the, the bits of expanded that are left in here off and then putting new angle down in here only because that's already in there and um, I don't know though because it seems like it's welded decently on this end here and then everywhere else there's like so you see it's welded decently here nothing some you know I guess they're not spot welds uh, stitch welds and then maybe a stitch welded in the back but you can see the weld that's back there has already come off this side on the other hand uh, it looks a little better except it's coming apart from the uh, the the uh, the plate on this side and it looks like it's welded a little better in the back uh, so um here is the uh, the tube so this is it looks like two by two by four two by five maybe so that that was why I didn't think that the um, that the firebox had bowed that way because this is pretty sturdy. But you see, again, there is where it bowed down there. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick midweek update. I hope to get back out here. Oh gosh, uh, I hope to get back out here and actually work on Priscilla um, sometime this weekend. Um, not 100% sure, but I am, I do have motivation now. Uh, you know, it was one of those things where I started working on it and I am a goal, not task person. So now I have to get it done. Um, well, at least I have to get something done with it. All right, um, thanks again for watching as always. If you, haven't, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to check the links down in the description for some of my favorite barbecue toys and tools. And